Hello, gentle viewers. This is Vindy, and welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 18. So, it's been a while in game time since we've actually last uh, met one another. And this is not set up correctly at all. Um, so, here's what happened. OBS was acting strangely, and I thought it was OBS's fault, and then it turns out it was my fault for not setting things correctly. Oops. So, I think I've got it sorted, and hopefully, knock on wood, knock, 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 this will not happen again. Um, it probably will. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've messed this up about a dozen times now, not just for OTP, but for other games as well, but hopefully things will turn out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this episode by explaining what happened in the season and a half that you guys didn't get to see on camera, and then we'll go into the off season. Now, you may accuse me of saying, you didn't watch us because your team sucked. And I really thought about that, because we did really, really stink. So, when last you saw things, we were about 50 and 30-something at the All-Star break. And everything has gone to shit since then. We ended up going sub-500. And then, we almost lost 100 games the next season which is obviously really, really bad. Um, we've made very minor moves between the two seasons because the owner, quite frankly, didn't want to give me any money because he's a dick. He wants you to win a World Series, but doesn't want to pay for it, so apparently I'm just going to ask all these people to work for free, maybe. I don't know. But, so we find ourselves in a very interesting position. Um, we were one of the worst teams in the majors last season. Let me confirm if we were not, in fact, the worst. Um, we want AL. We were the worst team in the American League, so we've got a top five pick. I wouldn't we think we might have the number one pick in the draft. Um, so, getting back on topic. Um, we haven't made a lot of changes to the team. Um, I've cut a couple of minor people um, that won... Wei Hu Sin, something like that, got cut. Oh, I just opted out of a bunch of contracts um, because Carlos Carrasco basically decided he wasn't going to be very good. Um, the only players of note whose names you probably don't recognize are um, Ben Steed was a minor league reliever who actually had himself a decent season. Um, Riley Adams was a Rule 5 draft pick, someone who could play as a backup catcher. Um, he didn't do great last season, but given that um, what's-his-face cost me a win the previous season, it's fine. Um, I got Takaha... So the end of last season was actually just complete insanity in the number of trades I made. Let's look at the trade log. Major transactions log. Here we go. One moment. Hey. Oh, pardon me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see here. Almost all the trades were made, like, in July. Yeah, so here we go. I traded Matt Bowman for a third baseman, who will get a definite shot to make the team this season. I traded a, a minor starting pitching prospect for... An outfielder, another starting pitcher, another outfielder, a closer, and a catcher. And then I traded Brandon Finnegan and a couple of prospects for Jorge Soler and most importantly Luis Mota, who will be start who was going to be starting the season and then his arm basically fell off. That didn't work out so well. That one kind of makes me sad. Um, this trade might blow up in my face, especially as it was to the Tigers. But we'll see what happens. Um, we also um, voided a few contracts. We voided Carlos Carrasco. He'll be gone, which is going to make people sad, but I can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, Carrasco's not so great. I mean, I could, I guess, at least offer him a deal and see what he wants. I, I can't do it. Nope. I need to free up payroll so we can make a move on a free agent or two. So, a lot of longtime Indians are going to be leaving the team. Um, this includes Carlos Carrasco, who had kind of hoped to retire as an Indian, Mike Clevenger, 
um, Takahashi Takayashi Honda, who I picked up, and then immediately, let's see, what else did I get for you? Oh, that's when I traded Kevin Newman. Um, that wasn't a great trade, but to be honest, he really, really didn't want to play for me anymore. And it did save me money. So in the long run, I guess it's okay. Um, what does Crockett want? He wants all the money, and he's not going to get it. He is not going to get it, my friends. No, sir. Uh-uh. So, a lot of new faces beginning next season. Basically, if you're wondering why we've done so poorly, our core just got old. I mean, there's no easy way to say that, but all of our core now is in its 30s. Um, except for, we do have a couple of building blocks, blocks right now. Brocks? Blocks. Um, number one among them is Dave Strader. Number two among them is Nick Donnelly. Now, Donnelly didn't have himself a perfect season. A little bit of a sophomore slump, but he still brought some power, which we desperately needed. Um, he still got on base at a decent clip, um, and I think he'll be better this season. And he actually played a pretty fine first base. I have no complaints about Donnelly. Um, Strader was really, really good, and I think he'll be even better. I mean, he's a borderline Cy Young candidate. Um, he might actually get some votes. And this is all with a pitch count. All with a pitch count. He's really amazing. Um, I will not be letting him go anywhere. No matter how much money it costs to keep him. Um, let's actually take a quick look, shall we? And just look at how the team went last season. Because you guys need to see Francisco Lindor just went out of his mind last season. Which is a real shame, because he was on the worst team in the league, and yet he still played his damnedest out. I mean, he had over 300 for the first time since 2017. 390 batting average, first time in his career. 529 slugging percentage. Uh, just an insane season. He even played pretty well at shortstop, although not as well as he has in the past. Um... Just an amazing season, and it's a real tragedy that he had it for this team. But it does give us hope for the future. that Maybe he'll continue to be excellent, and we can maybe see what happens. Let's see, Mejia turned in another Mejia-type season. He hasn't hit that, that, that semi-MVP level since his second full season in the majors. But he's been consistently very good, I think worth every penny, especially given how hard it is to find catchers these days. Um, Moncada got worse, and he actually complained a lot about this team. So I'm hoping that he does us both the favor avoiding his contract, because he's got an opt-out, but I don't think he'll decide on that until free agency starts. Because I'd like to maybe pick up another good, solid, long-term piece in free agency and then move from there. Um, Kageyama's value is almost purely defensive at this point. He's still an amazing center fielder, but... I mean, even his power starting to go. And that was his calling card. Um, I have no complaints, though. I will continue to happily have him on the team. Um... We get Donnelly, who hit pretty well and could have hit a lot better. Nolan Jones did okay, filling in for Evan Longoria, who I also traded. Um, what did I get for Longoria? I got something actually pretty decent for trading Longoria. What did I get? That was a June trade. Okay, that's Newman. There was my draft. Yeah, Andy Hutchings could be really, really good. Um, or not. We'll have to see what happens. And I did get two first-round picks because, remember, I lost my first-round pick the previous season. What did I get for Evan Longoria? He was one of the first people I traded, I thought. There's Bowman to the Astros. There's my mega deal. There's Finnegan. This is going to drive me nuts. What did I get for trading Longoria? Did I trade him in May? 
Yep, here we go. And I actually ended up getting someone who actually spent the entire season on the Major League roster. He didn't have a great season. Maybe he needs a little bit more. No, I'm not going to say seasoning. I'm not going to do that to you. Um, you actually played kind of well. I mean, okay, your war looks pretty terrible, but we'll see how you do with another full season in the majors. Because um, the thing is, I don't have an outfielder to really replace you with. So um, so that was, that was another minor deal. And how did you turn out for Columbus? You had a better season with them than you did with me. But, I mean, look at how bad he was. He was injured a lot. He didn't even play every day. I think Longoria will end up retiring in the very near future. So that's what happened. That's a good summary, I think. I made a bunch of trades. I basically turned it into a fire sale. Um, the owner is understandably pretty peeved at me. His team record don't suck completely. He wants you to make $20 million, and he still wants me to build a dynasty. Um, this is the last year of my contract, which is kind of un inconvenient. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Because if I can't pick up another one or two quality players in free agency, or something to that effect, it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. <laughs> I'll probably get fired. So let's see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. So let us check salary arbitration. Um, I will actually go ahead and offer you like a three-year. Oh, he's really angry at me. Well, you're just going to have to get, take what I offer you. Um, I'd like to submit a qual qualifying offer to Carrasco and get that first-round draft pick. But I think he'd accept it. And that would blow my entire free agency budget. So I think I will actually go ahead and let him walk. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate. But, I mean, Clevenger, even if he just off... Yeah, even at that price, he's not worth it. Carrasco, even at that price, he's not worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and, and let these people go. No one hears all that thrilling. I'm going to miss this guy's cool name. That's a really cool name, but that's about all I can say is that his name is cool. Um, without further ado, I think we just go ahead and continue. All right, and then Bradley Zimmer, who basically is his, his arm, his leg fell off. And he's not a whole lot better than Webb now. <laughs> hmm. Damn it, Moda. That really bugs me. Moda could have, Moda was my key. Oh, I need to make some changes, don't I? I have some personnel changes. Did I get any? Hey, Kakiyama got another gold glove. Is that his first? It's his second. Four years of puck. Kakiyama deserved it. Well done, my friend. Um, I have to pick up a couple of personnel. Because I let my manager walk. I basically blamed him. Um... Do I have another manager to promote? I really don't. So I can hire a new manager, or I can promote Carlin. Oh, I need a new team trainer. Um, trainer ratings, team trainer. I want the best money can buy. Which is probably, no, he's inexperienced at that. Um, Nick Kenny's really good at everything except for back and other are preventing back injuries I want somebody who can prevent arm injuries and I will take he's good at preventing leg and arm injuries but I'd rather someone that's better across the board I think it's Nick Kenny. Let's do it. Done. Now we need a new manager. I want someone with a decent rep. Okay, there's Mike Matheny, who's Sabermetric. 
what would your sample lineup be? You bat Mike Webb third? Hmm. Yeah, forget you, Freddy Gonzalez. I don't like you anymore. I want someone who's good at developing people. He'd be great at developing hitters and bad at developing pitchers. And I want someone that at least gets along with pitchers. What about Joe Girardi? He'd have a bad relationship with pretty much everyone that's not a rookie. Or that's not a hitter, rather. Mattingly? Nope. Roberts? Nope. Don't be Freddy Gonzalez. Okay. Adderidge? You wouldn't be a negative frustrator, but you wouldn't be a positive either. Goulding. You'd have a bad relationship with with uh, with Strader. Pedro Peralta. You're mostly getting a long battle with people who aren't going to be on the team anymore. And I bet I could get you cheap. Let's look at Luke Carlin. Is he ready to be a manager? How does he get along with people? He has a bad relationship with Strader. That's what, Pedro Peralta? And what would your lineup look like? Everyone's putting Mike Webb in as, as a third place hitter, which I guess makes some sense. I might go ahead and hire Pedro Peralta as the manager. Let's see how that works out for us. Reliever of the year. Probably not going to be anyone on my team. Nope. I can't say I'm that surprised. Silver Slugger. A bloody Corey Seager. This is Lindor's award this season. I don't care how many bloody homers you hit. You did also lead the league in hits. Damn it, Seeger. That was not fair. You're a jerk. Uh, rookie of the year. I doubt I'll, I'll have anything there. Manager of the year. Definitely not going to be me. Cy Young. I wouldn't be surprised to see if Strader got some votes, which he didn't. Eh, he didn't make the playoffs, so I kind of see why he didn't. I think the I think OTP eighteen gives way too many Cy Young awards to relievers, and I don't think they deserve them most of the time. MVP not going to be an Indian. It was Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who hit fifty three homers? It's all based around homers, it seems. I find that somewhat irritating. Let's vote on the Hall of Fame. That's always therapeutic. Uh, Adrian Beltre is a slam dunk Hall of Famer in my view. Uh, I'll vote for Berkman. Johnny Cueto? Not really. I'll vote for Giambi. I think he deserves to make it. Um... Let's see. Kinsler, no. Lester, maybe. No. Marcakis, definitely no. 
Mauer uh, The thing is he didn't spend his whole career at catcher. Otherwise I would actually consider it. Nathan, no. Papelbon, no. Pettit better get in this season. Albert Pujols, oh god, yes. Another slam dunk first ballot guy in my view. Uh, I'm going to vote for Roland again. He's never going to get in, but I think he deserves to as a really good third baseman. Tulo, not really. Utley, maybe not. Verlander, no. I'll throw in another vote for Viscale. I'm getting so cynical. David Wright. At third base, he was really good. And if I'm going to vote for Roland to be consistent, I should vote for David Wright, too. Not Michael Young and not Zimmerman. Let's go to salary arbitration hearings. I got my trainer and I got my new manager. I just had the one arbitration hearing, so that's fine. Yeah, I can't believe you thought you deserved a $2 million sale. You must have been on something. Moncada, what am I missing? Wait, is it the end of this year that your opt-out is? Maybe it's the end of this year. Hmm. Okay, what does Kagayama want in an extension? He won't even talk about it. Lindor? Oh, Lindor. You're so amazing, but I cannot give you $27 million a year. I can't. Not at the age of 33. That would be... No. I'd love to lock down straighter if I can. How about a five-year deal? No, you want, like, all the money. Shit. And he's a greedy one, too, isn't he? You project as our best man is what, six million? I'll offer you six million. We'll see if you take that for one year. 7.6. His salary is going to go through the roof, but I genuinely don't see that I can refuse it. Donnelly should be more manageable. Wow, no one wants to talk extension. I think it's because the team is so bad. Hmm. A lot of these are names I don't necessarily care to renew. Damn it, Lindor. Why do you want so much money? I would do a three-year deal if two of them had team options. And I would give you five million. No, 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 not 27 million. Would you take this deal? I can't do it. I can't. If Moncada opts out, I'll re-sign Lindor to some sort of extension. Um, we need we just need raw talent right now. We'll have to see what happens. Um, how much do I have for free agents? I have no money for free agents. Because you just keep taking cash out of the bloody team because you're a jerk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care what you give me for a draft budget. You're just not going to let me sign anybody, are you? Mm. 
which means we're going to be bad this year too, unless some of these other rookies turn out. Ah, uh, that's why they're objectively bad players. That's why their potential looks so good. Yeah, see, relievers I can afford, maybe. Let's say I want to sign Jorge Mateo, just for fun. Yeah, you will not let me sign any free agents. You're literally going to be that big an asshole. Mm. Pardon my language, but it's frustrating. Like, we want you to get better. Can I have money to do it? No. We can't be players in free agency. We just can't. And now no one wants to sign new contracts with me. This is probably it for me. Unless we have a really amazing season. Which, to be honest, we probably shouldn't count on. Since we're not going to be getting any new talent unless I can get it in the Rule 5 draft. I've received a personal message, have I? Strader took the one-year extension. And it's just going to go up from there. Which is really unfortunate, but I can't do anything about that. Um, who signed Crockett? Houston? Yeah, they gave him over $10 million a year. I'm all power to you, my friend, but you weren't going to get that kind of money from me. I don't care if anyone takes Bobby Bradley. No one will. Um, Josh Floyd turned it around. Did you get hurt last season? You got hurt last season, didn't you? Yep. I gotta put you in double A, my friend. I need to test you. Because you might be called upon sooner rather than later. There's Ignacio Serrano. Who could still be a pretty decent pick? How did you pitch? You handled yourself okay. You got hurt too, though. I don't like how many people got their arms blown out last season. You're only 23, but you're actually farther along. Let's promote you to double-A also. And then you guys are sticking around for a while. No one interesting there. No one interesting there, and no one interesting there. The good news is I got loads of spaces if I want to take some people in the Rule 5 draft. Bloody Trevor Bauer. I can't get out of his stupid deal. I would honestly take on salary for a year if someone would take him. And no one will. Of course they won't. Yeah, no one's even going to have trade proposals for me. They recognize I have very little of value. Let's see. Rule 5 draft. What do we got here? All right. I'm hoping for some talent in the Rule 5. Oh, yeah. I was the worst team in the majors. I get the number one pick in the Rule 5. Um... That's a really good second baseman, actually. He just can't play second base. He'd still be a good DH. Um, Mike Norfolk is a lefty, and I do need a lefty in the pen now that Crockett's gone. I will take you and let you pitch in the majors.
Barnett can't hit. Hansen can. He just can't play second. He could play DH, though. And I really do need hitting talent. Especially cheap hitting talent. I'm going to take Barnett. I'm going to take Hansen, too. Unless Gormley's actually a better hitter. Eh, Gormley's about the same as everyone else. Juan Pai? Nope. And we'll look at Luis Mises. Really good power, nothing else. I've already got Bobby Bradley. I'm going to go ahead and take Hansen in the Rule 5 draft, too. That'll at least give me two extra players. Someone I can use as a DH. And Yeah, here we go. So Norfolk will have to stay on as a left-handed reliever, which is fine. Why did I get Humberto Estrada? Oh, I traded for you from Houston. What did I trade to you to get Estrada? Are you part of the Derek Fisher trade? Now that was just minor leaguer plus minor leaguer for minor leaguer plus minor leaguer. You stink. You stink. You ended up on Toronto somehow. I guess I win that trade by default, don't I? Let us proceed to Hall of Fame voting results. Man, these players are signing for some massive deals. Who's Eddie Gamboa? I would be shocked if we don't have at least three people make the Hall of Fame this season. Beltre's a slam dunk in my eyes. A couple other people are slam dunks. Oh, we got four. Yeah, Pujols, Beltre, Giambi, Berkman. What does Andy Pettit have to bloody do to get elected? That's crazy. People really hate Andy Pettit. Did I like run over someone's dog or something? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm not that surprised Berkman got in. Uh, Beltre and Pujols deserved it. Giambi, he deserved it too, I guess. All right, read all messages. Delete all messages. This is kind of a dull preseason, isn't it? For which I apologize, but I mean, the team kind of stinks, so. A trade proposal? For Prather, you will give me two players. A decent left fielder. Hmm. Hmm. Here's my concern. I can't afford to trade a pitcher right now. Especially when I already have so many outfielders. Although he is a good hitter. No, if Morales was a better prospect, I'd make this deal, but I have to refuse. Uh, what if I drop Prather? What do I need to get for this? Now you won't even do it for anything short or straighter, so no. I will refuse your offer. If someone else makes a legitimate offer, I'll take it, but... <laughs> I hope we get a new owner. A left fielder for a third baseman. Oh, he's a good outfielder. We don't already have a left fielder? Yeah, I got Chatfield. Ooh, I got a lot of players that bottomed out. Hmm. 
yeah, I can't afford to, to trade any assets right now. You want one of my older players? I'd think about it, but I can't give you a younger one. Who did Carrasco sign with? The White Sox. And he signed for virtually nothing. They might have gotten actually a pretty good deal off me, but he did have two consecutive seasons where he was just garbage. I do feel kind of bad about losing Carrasco. I'll be honest with you. Cookie was my dude. You're just an asshole. <laughs> you won't give me any money at all for free agents. I mean, I can re-sign Lindor, which is what I want to do. But, you know... That's still kind of depressing. I mean, you wouldn't even let me sign a cheap free agent. I think you'll become obsessed with saving money. Maybe this will be the year we make $20 million, but probably not. You just keep taking cash out of the damn team. <laughs> Anything cool happen in the preseason? Do I have that turned on? Uh, automatic league evolution. I think it's a cool way to. Is it on? It's on. Hmm. Anyone worth a spring training shot? I could put Bobby Bradley in. The thing is, I've got nowhere to put him. Oh, bronze, maybe. He wouldn't be the worst choice. He's got some skills. I'll put you on the spring training roster. Um, ah, we've got to make a decision about Serrano this season, don't we? So for starters, I have plenty of people, actually. Um, just go ahead and put Moda on the 60-day DL. I'm actually going to go ahead and let Serrano pitch in the in spring training. Um, I'm probably going to put you on the 40-man, but I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with anyone else. Wait, where's my outfielder? He didn't bottom out already, did he? I'm going to cry. If my first round draft pick is no longer here. Or if he's no longer very good. Now, sometimes it's just a weird spring thing. Where is he? Where's my player? Where is he? Where did my first round draft pick go? Oh, you know what? I bet he's in the Dominican League. Whew, there he is. Hi, Andy. Let's not rush you. I will actually take over your development, though. Uh, disable. Haven't you played like three years already? Oh, this is your second full year. Okay. That's fine. You're 20 years old. Play every day. I want you in right field every single day. I want you to get some practice. 
That's the only way you're going to develop outfield skills. Um, let's see here. Maldonado. He didn't have a bad rookie year, but he didn't play very much either. I want you playing every day. I will override you guys because I need you to be somewhat successful. And here, we'll just click that there. You'll both be people I take very close personal attention of. We'll see how you guys do over time. I have so many bad catchers in the rookies, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, you already gave him the promotion to high A, which is what I would have done. Let's see how he does. I'll shortlist you, but that's as far as I'm willing to go. Before I guarantee you as on my roster. Uh, short list, there we go. And I will let the AI decide how to fill out the rotation this season. This could be the season that youth is served. I need bullpen help. I had no idea how bad my bullpen were, was. Not bad, but just in terms of I just don't have enough. Um, I'll work on something for that. Let's just see how everyone does in the minors. And let's see how you guys do. I'm not going to do one week at a time because there's just going to be injuries and I'll just injuries. I'm just going to have to deal with it. See, told you. And now I have very little to offer in the outfield. Entry my outfielders. What does Lindor want now in an extent? He still wants $21 million a season. I can't afford that. Oh boy. I didn't want him to do anything important. Just play third base all season. He blew out his damn knee. How did you blow out your knee? Seriously, how did you get injured? Give me the game log. Is this like a fluke thing? Here, third base. This Jones. When did he get hurt? Hurt. Yeah. When did you get injured? Let's finish today, and then it should properly populate this injury history. No, maybe not. He was injured on March 16th. Let's go to the schedule. How did you get injured? While running the bases, you fractured your knee. I don't believe it. Okay, I do believe it, actually. I actually believe it quite a lot. Solar's out because I can't have any outfielders. If 
But you quit injuring people. I got to think long term. But it rains at bloody pores, doesn't it? When it rains at bloody pores. Wish I had a new one. So you might actually let me sign a new player every now and then. Now, I want you to be better, but I don't actually want you to get any new players. I just want the players you have to play better. All because of your obsession with making money. Look, you don't buy a Major League Baseball team because you want to be rich. You buy a Major League Baseball team because you are rich. And, of course, someone has to blow their freaking arm out. How long are you out for Tyler Krieger? I'm sure it's like the rest of the season. Why not? No, he's just out for two weeks. I still can't play him. Uh, Chatfield can come back. Thanks for a minor blessing. Uh, Steed got better. Serrano got better. Moda got a lot better at everything, but, you know, that. Lindor got a little better. Jeremy Zwack? Who are you, my friend? I don't like that movement, but you're actually not a bad starting candidate if you can pick it up. Yeah, you're going to come back to me and be like, so, how about those outfielders now? Nope. Got to reject. I wish I didn't have to. Okay. And frickin' Donnelly has a damn setback. Come on, Donnelly. Get all these people on the disabled list, and the season hasn't even started yet. And Donnelly will be back in a few days. You know, woohoo. Okay, pitching. I only have 10 pitchers. I actually need to call up pitchers. I want Josh Floyd pitching in AAA, which means I actually need to call up more than that, but that's fine. I can cobble together a bullpen with people like Pat Dio and Jeff Klein. Pitching. This means Serrano makes the opening day roster. Actually, I need one more pitcher, don't I? No, I don't. One, two, three, four, five. No, yes, I do. I need one more pitcher. Yeah, because a five-man rotation. Yeah. I need one more pitcher. Yeah, I want Floyd getting some time in, uh, in double-A this season. I don't want to wreck everyone's development. Someone like Mike White, actually, I wouldn't mind calling up. Because he's a closer type. Uh, he could still be a starter at some point if he develops a third pitch. Let's not rush him. Dan Huffin, you've been in the bloody... You just didn't turn out. Which is really quite a shame. Really quite a shame. Come on, you guys can't give me one more pitcher. Luisa D. Garcia. You know what? Fine. This is going to be the year of the bad pitchers. Um, you, you, and you all get added to the 40 man. And then who... Okay, we need to get rid of offensive players. Yeah, it's 
Jackson Mitchell. Let's send down Vanderpool. Let's send down... Jones can play center field. Oh, Palacio is actually the better defender. Send you down. Um, congratulations, you made the team out of lack of options. Uh, you can go down... Six of one half dozen of the other. You can go down. And I need to get rid of one more infielder slash outfielder. If I move you to third, how much worse do you get? You're about the same. That's fine. Mitchell can play at second then, and then Hanson can play wherever we find a spot for him. Um, I've still got too many outfielders. Let's send down Pallet. There we go. That's your opening day roster. Woohoo. Um, I want to have a think about the pitching staff, so I'll actually look at that for the next episode, for the opening episode for opening day. I'll have a look at the staff, so I'll actually save, uh, we'll end the episode here, and that'll be the first thing I do for the next episode. Um, this has been Avindian. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I am wishing you good day, good luck, and good fortune.